Uh, the first thing that stands out to me is how embarrassed and disgusted I am that the United States Capitol could be taken over by domestic terrorists while we're in session transferring power from one president to the other, that a band of people who are terrorists, not patriots, literally occupied the floor of the House, drove the Senate out of its chamber, and the question for the country is, how could that happen 20 years after 9-11? It is mind-boggling that such an event could occur. Uh, Senator Schumer's call for the Secretary, Sergeant of Arms of the Senate to resign, I echo that. If they would have been in the military, they would have been relieved of their commands and most likely court-martialed. So the first thing that has to happen is to hold those accountable for failing to defend the nation's capital while the Congress was in session. But we haven't been protesting lately. We've been burning down cities. We have been attacking federal courthouses. We've been looting in the name of social justice. And now we've occupied the Capitol. This needs to stop. To my Democratic colleagues, I share your disgust and embarrassment and determination to make sure that what happened in our capital never happens again. But you need to speak up when this happens in other places. So what am I calling for? I'm calling for a joint task force to be assembled and spend all the time and money necessary to identify every person who breached the security of the Capitol, who occupied the chambers, who invaded offices, and destroyed property. The people sitting in the chairs need to be sitting in a jail cell. The people who attacked the Capitol Hill police need to be charged with attacking a police officer. Sedition may be a charge for some of these people. There's been a constant effort by people from the president's legal team to provide misinformation, to distort the facts, to make accusations that cannot be proven. That needs to stop. As to the 25th Amendment being invoked, I do not believe that's appropriate at this point. I'm looking for a peaceful transfer of power. I'm looking for the next 14 days to reset, and we will hand off power in a traditional sense by being a peaceful transfer.